All right, I'm back outside again in the sunlight, which I love. I love the outdoors. That's why I live here. All right, so let's say you're outdoors and you want to shoot something that requires light stands like this. Well, most light stands, this is a typical one, the bottom, the legs are the same length. So they're made for flat floor, flat level ground. But what if you're not? This thing's going to fall over. Well, that's why you need something that a light stand that is able to be on uneven ground. And that's what this video is about. Yes, they do make them. Uh, and when you're in Hollywood, for example, the light stands that everybody uses other than C stands. I don't like C stands because they're steel. They're heavy and they have those bulky legs that stick out. They're not very compact. I like this kind of light stand because the legs fold down. So in Hollywood, the light stand that they like to use a lot of is Matthews or Norms. This is a norm stand. They have other kinds too, but those are the kinds that I'm used to. And this is one of them. Uh, they're pretty expensive, but I'm going to start with the industry standard and I'll work my way down to the cheap stuff that you guys want. And yes, they do have really affordable ones, really small ones, lightweight ones. But this is the industry standard. Look at this. This thing is so tall. Look at this. Look how tall this thing is. And it weighs nothing. Look at this. It's aluminum. All these are aluminum. They, they, they weigh nothing. And what makes these things so special for uneven ground is they have a land leg. One of the legs extends. You see that? The leg can get long and short. So that's what makes these things so special. Matthews and Norms calls this the Rocky Mountain leg, I guess because, you know, Rocky Mountains, uneven ground. All the other ones call it a leveling leg. So if you're looking for a light stand that has that, look, just punch in the word leveling leg. But anyway, um, I'm going to go through the different lights. Oh, yeah. Before I get into the light stands, I'm going to get into the light stands as to what the models are, the sizes, the prices, the weights and all that. I'll do that really quick. Um, but first, I know there's some questions and one is, how do you keep these things from blowing over in the wind? Well, that's a good question. Normally what I do, I do this almost every single time, is I look around for a rock. Like, I just get a rock and I just lay it on there on each foot or I get, uh, let's level this thing out. Or I get a flat one and I just stick it in here like this. And that, that, that's not going anywhere. Here's some footage of when I was in Hawaii and we were shooting on the beach. It was really windy and the waves were crashing up and it was really, really, the water was really forceful. But I just put some rocks on there and that thing wasn't going anywhere. And then you could attack it with anything. And that light stand was rock solid. So that's usually what I do is I just put rocks on it. And there's usually rocks around, but what if there isn't? What if there's no rocks? Well, that's what this is. Here's where you get sandbags or weight bags. These are by impact. They're just empty bags. They have a zipper on them. They're heavy duty. And you can fill them with sand and dirt and rocks, whatever. They're called saddle bags because they hang over each side. And the reason they do that is so you can put them like that. You drape them over the, the center, the, this, this uh, strut here. Or they also have a handle that you can hang on on the light stand. So you just fill these up with rocks or sand or dirt. I have these, but I, don't, I never use them. You know what I use other than rocks? <laughs> You're going to laugh at this. I have 12 bags that hold weight for light stands on me right now. That's right. I have 12 weight bags on me right now. Here they are. Ready? Drum roll. Grocery bags. Look at this. Here's a weight bag right here. Look at this little thing. These things are great. They're really, really compact. They weigh nothing and they're free. The best price of all. So I double them up and you just fill them up with dirt and sand or rocks, whatever, you know, whatever you got. And then you just hang them on your light stand. Actually, the lower, the better. And uh, like I said, you could have 10 of them, 12 of them in your pocket. So this is, this is the best way to hang, to support your, your lights. Anyway, so let's get into the light stands here. This is the big professional one. This is by Norms. This one is uh, 13 feet. It, they collapse really, really easy. 
really professional, really well made. It's aluminum. It only weighs 10 and a half pounds, which it's actually the most heaviest one of all of these, but it's really lightweight considering it goes up to 13 feet. And when it collapses, it's four feet. It's only like four feet when it's collapsed. Uh, that one costs $300. That's the most expensive one. Don't groan. I've got something much more affordable. Uh, this is my favorite one right here. This one is by ProMaster and the legs. Now I know some people say, well, can't you just use tripods for uneven ground? Yeah, you can, but they only go up to like, you know, six feet. That's as high as they go. But light stands uh, can go up to, like I said, 10 feet, eight feet, nine feet, 12 feet, 13 feet and they weigh less than a tripod. So this thing weighs nothing, it's like two pounds. And these legs, uh, this is the ProMaster uh, LSCT. And the legs, they go in two different positions. They lock like, like this, and they also lock in a wider position. And all the legs have extend, extensions like this, so you can change it. What's cool about this thing is it weighs nothing, really lightweight, and the legs extend this way, which is really cool. Or you can do it flat too. If you really wanna have a, sitting on a flat ground, you could have it out like that. But for, for uh, traveling, they, they go like this. And when it's collapsed, it's, uh, it's only like uh, 16 inches and it weighs 2.8 2 pounds, so it's under 3 pounds. It weighs nothing and uh, this is $85. Now I know that's still too expensive for a lot of you, so we're getting a cheaper one now. Okay, cheaper one. Here we go. It'll be this one. Savage Nano Pro LS LA6. It has all three legs extend longer and shorter. Five and a half feet, uh, two, two and a half pounds. When it's collapsed, it's 19 inches, so it's a little longer than the one that I like, but it's still very small. And the cool thing is that when it collapses, the legs collapse upwards also, so it's really small and lightweight. $45, $45, five and a half feet, two and a half pounds. Uh, another one that's similar to that is this one. This is the by Draycast. It's almost the exact same one but this one goes up to seven and a half feet, so it's two feet taller than the last one. And this one's only $49. So, same price as the Savage almost, but it's two feet more. Now these ones are a little bit flimsy. They're not as, I mean, they still hold weight. I mean, you could probably, <laughs> you'd probably barely hold that. But um, anyway, this one is pretty good. This is the uh, Draycast uh, DRLS. CLS and again the legs fold this way which is really cool it's pretty much exact same thing as the Savage all right next one up the Avenger this is the Avenger AO025B the 25 stands for stands for 25 pounds that means this thing can hold 25 pounds and it goes up to eight feet it weighs seven pounds. It collapses down to 34 inches. And this costs $200. But it's really heavy duty. This is called the Avenger Baby Aluminum 25 with leveling leg A0025B, $200. All right, this is the Avenger 40. This is the uh, same thing, but it goes, it holds up to 40 pounds and it's uh, taller. It's like another two or three feet taller. Avenger makes really, really heavy duty stuff. It's a brand that not a lot of people have heard of, but really high quality stuff. It's aluminum, but really, really well made. Okay, next up. This is by Matthews. This is the uh, Matthews B366167 four section aluminum combo. 25 pound capacity, uh, $180, uh, almost 10 feet, 9.75 feet, 10 pounds, collapses down to four feet. And 
It has on the end of it what's called a combo. So you've got a pin and you got a hole to stick stuff in. That just sounds wrong. Moving on. Okay. This one. This is the Manfrotto 007BU. This is a Junior Universal. It's almost 10 feet long. Uh, $180. Uh, eight pounds. Collapses down to four feet. And it has the... Uh, the combo again so you can it has the pin and the hole $180 for this one so and they all have the leveling leg so hopefully uh, this gave you some ideas we're gonna do a photo session right now uh, using some of these just to, so you can see it in action and uh, you know a lot of people don't even know these things exist but yeah they do they have to because you know you're not always shooting on level ground so uh, come with us Enjoy a few moments of a photo session. fun little trip for the day and just a little uh, fun outing in nature nature is great it's good you need to get your sun your vitamin d and your uh, your heat that's true this is my heat she's hot very <laughs> hot <laughs> it's a different kind of hot anyway so uh hope you enjoy our stuff it's inspirational educational fun a nice little uh, deviation from what most people are doing on their photography channels hope you enjoy it and we'll see you in the next video bye